Hello viewers, I highly welcome you once again to AE Accounting Tutorial. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that anytime I drop a video, the notification will be right there on your devices. Is that okay? We are just continuing from where we ended in, our, in the part one of this video. Okay, in the part one of this video, we look at how we prepare an income statement for a suit with But basically today, we are going to look at how the statement of financial position is being prepared, the format, is that okay? So let's quickly look at the format of the statement of financial position. Basically, for a sole trader, the statement of financial position. Assets. Assets. The end of the year in which the sole trader is preparing his account or the account. Is that okay? But before we look at the preparation of this statement of financial position, this statement of financial position is equally as or we use the accounting equation to actually show the financial position of a firm or the sole trader. Is that okay? But the accounting equation is actually introduced by one of uh, an Italian mathematician, okay, who is called Lucas Pacioli. He introduced this <coughs> approach or the <coughs> or the the the, listen, the accounting equation. He actually introduced it. Uh, in the year 1494, is that okay? So we are going to use the accounting equation to actually depict or show the financial position of a sole trader, okay? But before that, okay, the accounting equation we all know is assets, let me count, we have assets is equal to capital or owner's equity plus liabilities. Is that okay? This is the accounting equation we all need. But then we have about three different models that we can use to actually show the financial position of a firm. Is that okay? So we'll be considering the first model. The first model is the same as this, which is assets is equal to capital plus liability. Is that okay? Where we will be having our assets as the non current asset plus the current asset. It is equal to the owner's equity, the capital plus a net profit or loss minus any drawings. Is that okay? Then we consider our liability will be the non current liability plus the current liability. <coughs> so, this particular approach or the model, we call it the total asset model. Total asset model. Is that okay? And we also have another <coughs> we also have another model where we have capital is equal to assets minus liability. Okay, and this model can be expressed as well. this is the owner's equity where we have capital plus any net profit or loss minus any drawings. We have the non-current assets plus the current assets minus the non-current liability plus the current liability. Is that okay? And this model, we call it the net asset model. The net asset model. Is that okay? And basically, I told you we have about three models. So let's also look at the third model. And this third model, it will be a situation where the liability is equal to the asset minus capital. Is that okay? And this particular model can also be, ex be expressed. Is that okay? But then we call it the net current asset model or the working capital model. So basically, we will be using this, the third model, to prepare or to show the format of the statement of financial position. But the other two models can also be used to show the financial position of a sole trader. Is that okay? It will also balance. So we will be considering the last, <coughs> the last model to actually show the financial position of the firm. Is that okay? Where we will be having our non-current asset, the non-current asset, the non-current asset. 
bring my CD sign. The non-carrying cassette we have our cost. We have accumulated depreciation. Now the net book value or the carrying amount. Okay. The non-carrying assets, they are those assets that we use in our business for more than a year. Is that okay? More than one financial year. We may have made your motor van, or let's say a building. Or a building. We may also have maybe a motor van for a sole trader or a motor vehicle. We may have furniture and fitness. furniture and fitness and other non-carrying assets. So you have the cost of the assets, you have the cost, is that okay? After that, you have accumulated depreciation. If there is no accumulated depreciation, the cost of the asset will be equal to the carrying amount or the net book value, is that okay? But if there is a depreciation or accumulated depreciation, when you take it from the cost of the assets, you get the net value. So we okay. sum them up. After that, we go to the current assets. The current assets. The current asset is the opposite of the non-current asset. Is that okay? So we'll be considering our stock. That's the closing inventory. Is that okay? This closing inventory or closing stock, let me actually specify it. You have the closing stock. The stock that is normally found in additional information. Is that okay? We have our closing stock. Bring it here. We have our debtors or trade receivables. Our debtors. And mind you, anytime there is a provision on debtors, okay, a current provision or any provision for doubtful debt in the additional information or further information is supposed to be taken out from the debtors figure before we present. Is that okay? But if there is any provision for doubtful debt or any, any bad debt that is being found in the uh, tribal, we are not going to take it from the debtors figure. We assume that that has been already done. That transaction has already gone through the double entry system. But anytime there is a bad debt to be written off in the additional information, it means we have not yet gone through the dual aspect of bookkeeping. So we need to take it from the debtors figure before we present the final amount. Is that okay? So that can be done. After that, we have your cash. We have our cash, we present it. But there is also a situation where the proprietor may decide to make drawings of his cash for personal use. In that situation, we need to take the cash drawing from the cash figure before we present it here. Is that okay? But that cash drawings that will be made by the proprietor should be in the additional information because all other transactions that are found in the travel has already gone to the dual aspect of bookkeeping. So we we'll treat them once. But those items that are found in the additional information, we are going to treat them twice, okay, in order to complete their own double entry system. Is that okay? So anytime there is a cash drawing in additional information, take it from the cash figure before you present your final amount. Then sometimes it will be bank balance. The proprietor may have a bank account and have a bank balance. It will be recorded. Anytime there is maybe an expenses prepaid. An expenses prepaid. Expenses prepaid. It should be also added. Is that okay? So there are other items that you may meet, but with the knowledge of the adjustment you've made in a previous video, you should be able to fix them in. Is that okay? So we'll be getting our total current assets. After this, we'll be having our how do you call it? But let me even include this item. Okay, you, you might need it on the way. Anytime there is an income audit, income due or income accrued, you also add it. It's an income due. 
is that okay? So we get our total current assets, our current liabilities. We are going to less our current liabilities. With the current liabilities, we have our trade creditors. Our trade creditors. Our trade payables. Bring them here. Okay. And they might be expenses for weeks. Is that okay? Anytime there is any expenses for weeks. Expenses accrued. The same thing. You add it. Okay. And anytime there is maybe an income prepaid, they overpay you an income. You have to add it to your liability. Your current liability to an income. Prepaid. You add it. There are other items that you may find. Is that okay? So you have your total here. The total of the current liabilities. So when you list your current liabilities from the total current assets, you, are, you get an amount. Okay. And this amount, we call it the working capital. The working capital of the soap feeder. This working capital is the amount used to run the day to day activities of the business. Is that okay? So after we've gotten our working capital, we add it to the total current assets. This total. This working capital, we add it to our total current assets to get our net current assets. Net current assets. That is why I said this model is the net current asset model, or it is the working capital model. Is that okay? So after we've gotten our net current asset model, it's one of the values. Is that okay? So we are going to look at the finance buy. How the sole trader finances business. Is that okay? So we are going to the capital side. So let's actually continue. Let's, let's actually continue. Is that okay? So we have our finance by. That's finance by. When we talk about finance by, we are talking about how the, how the sole trader is able to finance his business. Is that okay? So you have his capital. You have his capital here. And the next profit generated from the income statement or net loss. Sometimes it will be net loss, sometimes it will be net profit. So let's consider a net profit. So if there is a net profit, net profit you add it. You get an amount here. Is that okay? After that, if there is any drawings, you left the drawings. If there is any drawings, you left the drawings. Is that okay? After you left your drawing from this, you get an amount here. You get an amount here. And if there is any long term liability, any liability that will be paid more than one financial year, you bring it a long term liability. Long term liabilities. Long term liabilities. So let's consider maybe there is a bank loan, okay? Bank loan, more than one financial year, let's say for three years. Is that okay? To be here. So when we sum it up, you get an amount. Is that okay? The name of this amount is what we call the capital employed. The capital being employed in the business. This amount is the capital employed. And this capital employed should be equal to the net current assets over there. Is that okay? So basically this is how the format of the statement of financial position look like. You can also use the other two approach 
to, to, to actually get the balance of your statement of financial position. We will end our lesson here. In our next video, we will be taking a full practical question where we need to prepare our income statement and that of statement of financial position with adjustment. Okay, and we look at how we will solve this or that question. Is that okay? But then don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that anytime I load a video, you get a notification right there on your devices. Until we meet, bye for now.